think we roll, throw your hands up. People outside up in your eyes, turn this damn up. My songs are legendary. The hottest yet this century is live wire. I want to give a rest in peace to ODB, rest in peace to Silk Ski, rest in peace to Sincere, rest in peace to Espionage, rest in peace to Kwan King being the Manchus, you know what I mean? Rest Brooklyn Zoo for Life, you know yeah, what I mean? Zoo Family, Bobby Zoo Bullies, Zoo Ninjas, you know what I mean? Yeah. We coming Ooh. through. In the house. That's right. Oh, and, uh, and, oh, a and, a, and a piece of shout out. And a piece of shout out. And the saga continues. And a piece shout out to Mama Cherry because well, it wasn't for her, Dirty wouldn't be here. Dirty wouldn't never be here. Facts. So to Facts. his mom, that's Mama right. Cherry. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> say. That's my heart. That's and the yeah, Jones family. Man. The Gotta Jones keep family. Keep that name living and keep that name yeah. going, man. You yes. Know, that yes. man did a lot. He, he he did a whole lot for a hip hop in general. Mm -hmm. Not only yes. for hip hop but in general. And I must say that I, I he was a very humble person. Humble yes. hard. He wasn't conceited. I never been around this dude and seen one time that he showed somebody that they wasn't royal. You know, yeah, exactly. the first person to treat you very, very well. And so well that it kind of shocked me. You know what I'm saying? To be out there sure. early in the morning on Fortin Street and drink a uh -huh. 40 smoke of L, laughing, yeah. just people walk by, they ask for a picture. Now we smoke it. It's a session. We <laughs> stop the session to take the picture. Not yeah. even, but on several occasions. You know, and exactly. he, said, he broke down. How could you not stop when these people are paying your bills? They showing you love. They got true. genuine love inside their heart for Dirt Dog. Yeah, you that's know, true. He gave that yeah. back and then some. So enough respect to the Dirt Dog. So speaking of Dirt Dog for life. You know what I mean? Respect to OG. And big up to his to his kids. You know what I mean? Young dirty yeah. bastard. Winter Park. His daughters. You know what I mean? Iceland Jones. His wife. His ex wife. Iceland Jones. Big up to the whole Jones family, the whole camp we got. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, and the Wu Tang. Big up to the generals, Wu Tang clan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. so, so what I'm saying is, uh, we had we had a little. I mean, not a little, but what, what do you call it? Um, we we paid some respects to him in the album that we just released. Yeah, yeah, oh, money in the grave. Uh -huh. DJ that? Live Wire, money in the grave. Yeah, go cop that. Yeah. Go cop that. Mm -hmm. Number okay. three on iTunes, and it's hitting Billboard today. We find out where we chart at today. Mm -hmm. The album okay. before that was Predicted Platinum Deluxe, number one on iTunes, and uh, number 12 on Billboard Top 100. Yeah, yeah we got the um, Dungeon Master is on there Dungeon. from the Dirty okay. Clansmen. Uh -huh. We also okay, have Jason J yeah. mm -hmm. on there with Mission. We got G Bangs mm -hmm. with the South Side. We got my okay. boy B Wilder with the yeah. lunchroom tables. Yeah, we okay. got Rain right here with that okay. hit single, That's That Bullshit. So get your <laughs> act right and keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to go yeah. get that. Yeah. And then we got the official from the Basher. You know, Brooklyn Zoo, Kingston Avenue, uh -huh. Coney Island. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. you know, original yeah. back in the days. Yeah, yeah. He okay. got a hit single on there called uh -huh. Where I'm, Where I'm, Where I'm From. Where I'm, Where I'm, Where I'm From. Yeah, yeah and it's banging, okay. right? Yeah. You you already know That's so we up. got a lot of exclusives yeah. on there yeah i'm on there too with rock official yeah yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. i'm on That's there and plus we got the next project coming Shh. next project right. coming for 2021 yeah okay we got producers from uh hands on yeah that's the okay next. Yeah, we look out for yeah, that yeah. part three. <laughs> that's season that. three. Uh -huh. Hands okay. on. Uh -huh. Hands, Hands on. on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Then we got Hellraiser's producer on that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And we got the other super producer who produced knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we got three that's super what's up. producers. Yeah. It's going That's down. what it is. And we yeah. got to get you on there, too, I was going to say that. We working. So All right. We definitely, definitely. Let's make it happen. We got to connect like yep. four and make, make it happen, happen to the five. Yep.
Got to work okay, with your that's what it mathematics. We're going to build on this. Because, you know, culture freedom and power equals yeah. 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 All right? So the guards. Yeah, you already say, know. Gonna manifest, man. You already know. Wu Tang, Wu Tang forever. Yeah. Yeah, forever. You already know. Zoo forever. <laughs> Go cop this. Uh, <laughs> you can get this on Wu Wednesday on Pandora. You can find this on uh, Apple Podcasts, okay. um, Spotify, everywhere. We put them up. Deezer. So you can go catch all I the heart. old albums, all yeah. the old um, Roco, interviews that cable we did TV. from the beginning. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Facebook Live. So what? I'm gonna ask y'all a question. What? What's? I had y'all had some Zoo Ninja music. What song y'all like this? Oh, uh -oh. I'm like, oh, <laughs> now. Look, oh, oh. I wish I could show you. I'm giving y'all a question. I'm going to tell you how it all got started way back when. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I played Academic, right? Mm -hmm. Epidemic by the Zoom uh -huh. Ninjas. That's you. Uh -huh. I played okay. Spicer. All right. Okay. That's you. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. played uh, Flaming. That's you. Flame and Tomahawk. Reptilian with the East Coast Killer Bees. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we was blasting off. Then I got some more exclusives. But guess what? Just like Christmas, baby, you're going to have to wait to open those presents. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, man, I got some exclusives okay. for you, too, man. Uh, okay. Jesus, okay. Oh, man, it's right. Wednesday. Always. Go Woo Wednesdays. Yeah. Woo Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah. Woo Wednesday. And we got the Zoo Ninjas in the building. And Royalty Bowen has just tapped in. Yeah. All right? All right. Yeah, yes. so we're going to get Woo. on here until next time. We'll see you. Stay live, man. For sure. Yo, I read. Go. Five for life, a sniper for life, baby. Hey. Hey. Zoo. 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 He's a swarming with the zoo ninja chopping it up with him. You already know that was magnificent. That took place right here. Another fantastic woo Wednesday DJ Live Wire Rain Jackson. And another one. Yeah, and another one and another one. How puppy say? Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's going down. It's going down. We're going to move right along, and we're going to step it up a notch with some higher learning. We're going to be talking about martial arts and how that connects with um, training, you know, exercise, keeping your mental intact as well as your physical, you know? So you don't want to miss this next interview Cause it's going down right here on Live Wire Radio, so serious TV, the best of both worlds, being brought to you by the Climax Corporation, Universal Music Group, A Groove, the Woo Worldwide DJ Corporation, and Mercedes Benz. Go buy your Benz. Yeah. What's yes. going down, Rain? Hey. What's good? How did you like that uh, interview right there with that Zoom Ninja? I loved it. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. And what about those bars? Oh, huh? I can't wait to go back and see it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Saying. On a recap, right? <laughs> yeah, I need to recap. Oh, it. man. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Brother. We can't hear you. Yeah, he's going to tap in, get that, that audio. We're going to get that audio over here. And um, today, we're going to be kicking it right now with an international music, collaboration. Music. That was distance yes. right here. Royalty Born you hear me? is officially okay. in the building. Okay. All right. And uh, what okay. you're going to learn today, you're going to learn the authentic martial arts combined with the functional fitness in a formational uh, technique. Uh, he's going to pull out a lot of stunts for you, man. Original Wu-Tang member, um, disciple. Oh, uh, that's the guard. Yeah, so we're going to build. I can't hear him. Oh, you still can't get the volume? No. Oh, you don't got me. You got me? Oh, got me. Right, go. no. Peace, <laughs> God. <laughs> peace. <laughs> peace, queen. How are you? Good. What's good? Right, good. I'm blessed. Glad to be here. Glad to be What's here. What's going down? The bees are swarming. Hey. <laughs> no. I was confused. Knowledge, like, knowledge, like, knowledge, 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 knowledge. Appreciate you having me on the show. Oh, thank you for having us. 
and being able for us to interview you, man. It's Yo, an honor. Look at that W. Look at that W. It shines so bright. It shines so bright. Yo, up. Hold on. What's going on, Jay? What's the science? How Yo, you doing during this COVID nineteen? Yo, it, it's just maintaining, man. Everything's power and balance, though. You know? How are you? I'm wise and civilized. I'm building great mind. You know? Word. Indeed. Yeah, we, we out here doing it. No sleep. Team, no sleep. That's yeah. the only way you can succeed. <laughs> and to me, I mean, this COVID-19, to be honest, was a blessing and it was a curse. It was a curse because we lost sure. a lot of loved ones Indeed. during the process. Indeed. But it was a blessing because being eight times on the Billboard Top 100, that's unheard of. Word. You know what I'm saying? That's unheard of. And that's only the grind and praying and teamwork. Yeah. There right. is no I in team. Teamwork, Indeed. praying, and staying focused. Word. Indeed. Staying Indeed. Focused. Yes. Yeah, Indeed. man. Yeah. But it ain't about us. Yeah, We're going to get to you. We want to know what's up with you. I'm ready. Well, Martial yeah. arts, techniques, you. Yes. Yeah. So. This, this is the science, God. I started studying martial arts when I was a shorty. I was like six years old, right? Okay. Many, many, many moons ago. <laughs> <laughs> yo, um. What's your discipline? Yo, uh, quite, a, quite a few, honestly. Uh -huh. I started with Taekwondo. I think that's kind of like typical in the U.S. Uh -huh. It's kind of like our introduction, Taekwondo, karate. Now it's more moving into like jujitsu, mm -hmm. the MMA culture, okay. and but when in the nineties, um, I, I had the pleasure of meeting some brothers that studied kung fu, specifically Shaolin, and 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 I, I kind of took heed to it, and and this was in the mix of like Wu's banging Shaolin Wu Tang, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, watching kung fu theater on Saturday. Everything was love on oh man. Bruce Lee's like, yo, yeah. Kung Fu is crazy. Yeah. So, you know, I got in with the Shaolin and um, I never stopped. You know, I met, met my first Wing Chun teacher in like 2001 when I was in the army. And uh, That's a it never looked back from that either. Um, yeah. Progressing now to studying some um, I want to say it's kind of like a metaphysical, spiritual aspect of Shaolin and Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. and, and so you see, like, as you get really deep into that, you see there was a fusion of Taoism and Buddhism, mm -hmm. you know, about five, four to 500 years ago, right? And because the Shaolin temple was a, a Taoist temple mm -hmm. before it was a Buddhist temple. So there was a fusion that took place, right? Mm -hmm. And so that that art that got developed during that fusion is still alive, but it's just very, very unknown. I got blessed enough to cross paths with some Chinese grandmasters, and they brought me into the family and kind of opened up the reality of it all to me. So um, as I studied that, um, really start getting into the internal energy aspects of like people talk about Tai Chi, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you see that there is real deal energy that you deal with inside your body because the real science of it all is God, we are energy, right? We conscious energy. Yeah. So now it's learning how to tap into that conscious energy yep. through these arts, right? Uh -huh. and, and, and it's amazing the, the level of, um, internal power that you're able to generate uh -huh. through these techniques and to, through these disciplines uh, yeah. to the point of like, yo, you don't even need space because you are the space. Yeah. So you right. occupy the space, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So I don't need that distance. Cass is cocking back and they throwing haymakers. Yo, can develop that same power and like Bruce Lee did a sick, his three inch punch. Mm -hmm. Yo, you can have that same knockout power and I could be touching you, God. That's true. Wow. Yeah, right? That's true. 
Wow. So, so then I took it a step further and I'm like, all right, you know what? This is beautiful. And this is coming from a Chinese perspective. Mm -hmm. And I love to dig into his history and ancient culture. So as I'm looking at it and I'm studying ancient Kemet and I'm studying ancient Nubia and I'm studying ancient Africa and African culture. And I see that, yo, they wrote this same stuff on the pyramid walls. Mm -hmm. And we had this too. Yep. So where did the Chinese get this from? And I'm looking at it like, yo, um, the Hootie, Thoth, mm -hmm. he wrote the Emerald Tablets mm -hmm. and, and he wrote in these scrolls. He had this science, he was teaching yoga. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so what is yoga? Yoga is not these poses that they doing in these commercial like studios, that's yoga indeed, but there's a physical aspect of it. Yeah. When you dive into the energetic aspect of it, no, you don't have to move. The movement's going on inside. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The movement is the energy. Yeah. So you're making an energetic union with God, yeah. right? Because you are, you're making an energetic union with self, right? Because yeah. you are God. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize self to knowledge self. And that's what the true purpose of yoga is. Mm -hmm. So then I combined, I saw that, yo, I'm studying these energetic arts, right? I'm studying these energetic arts. We talking about Shaolin, we talking about Wu Tong, right? And I start really getting into the science of it. And I'm like, yo, this is African. <laughs> These cats is out here spitting garbage, man. Word up, let's bless them. Yo. Salute to the nation, we face it. Martial law invasions, force vaccinations, king defies blazing. Peace to the soldiers and camouflage engagements. The soul's energetically conscious, God creation. Slays implantations of mental incarcerations. 85% of y'all wasting y'all incarnations. Swore lacerations for silent assassinations. Uplift the populations, astral meditations, venomous corporations. Revolution occupations won't be televised. I'm numb to the lies. Rely on the higher wisdom of my third eye, space it. In the Merkaba Rage of Vibration Ancient astronaut lost comedic elevation Lyrical devastation keep the culture preservation Fiji two duels and cash rules to simulation Election 2020 is here And whether Trump wins or loses We have all won by exposing the communist Chinese By exposing the globalists By exposing the pedophile rings By exposing the fact this is really a fight between good versus evil Obscure, le monde est fou, y'a trop d'impostures Sois sûr que c'est nous qui paierons la facture Torture psychologique, jeté en pâture Fracture sociologique à cramer des voitures Or, dur sont ceux qui nous gouvernent Torture de caricature, mec c'est nous les pointures Voilà le nouvel ordre mondial Une aubaine pour ceux qui vénèrent le diable dans les veines C'est de la haine qui coule, regarde dans nos yeux Les gilets jaunes sont tous de garde Covid-19, triple 6, 2020 Victime du bluff, le malade s'en va comme il vient Les médias ne sont que des comédiens Donneurs de leçons, l'information tue les mecs bien Arrête ta flûte, mec, et pense à la fuite Une paire n'a aucune chance au poker quant à la suite C'est la merde, gros, je te dirai que rien ne m'étonne Conscience internationale dédicace à Tony Tone C'est pour les vrais veillés, pas pour les cons qui dorment On the ground, coupe les dômes, mais ne crois pas qu'on m'y donne Amigo, ils nous écrasent comme des négo Ton ego te pousse à réfléchir dans un netto Prouesse une prose qui porte sa voix en écho Prolétaire qu'à l'écro, on n'est pas tous égaux This originated in Africa yeah. we, we were the predecessors of this knowledge yeah. And it just so happened to have get, got taught to the Chinese as the Jedi, which is not no Star Wars stuff. Right. We're talking about the, the yeah. actual hermetic order of the Jedi that Thoth or Tahuti was actually teaching. Those was his disciples, right? right? So saw that this was an actual culture and priesthood mm -hmm. and it started to migrate and spread out through the world. Mm -hmm. But that's where it originated from. And it just really empowered me to see that, yo, this don't get taught. People don't learn this. They don't see that like, yo, we, we in this story too. The warriors, like we warriors, we come from a warrior culture, a warrior people, and this is part of our story. Mm -hmm. So that's really it, God, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I, I fell in love with it and I saw that it's just a part of, as much a part of me as it is the rest of the planet, you know? So it's, mm -hmm. it's our duty 
to tap into that spirituality to be able to like help civilize and give that culture back to the people because through going back to the past is where we finally figure out who we are and knowledge self and that's where we get to where we need to be. Invent with that motherfucker. But you gotta get some heart in your chest. You gotta get some dog in your dog. You niggas is 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 on team evil. Everybody wanna whoop this nigga Bill Gates ass. Bill Gates better hope he stay rich forever. Cause if that motherfucker ever gotta come live in a public housing unit, somebody gonna whoop your ass, nigga. For those of you who don't like Donald Trump, guess what we can agree on? We don't like Bill Gates, for sure. And if you don't like Donald Trump, hopefully you don't like Bill Gates even more. Why Bill Gates don't like Donald Trump? Why Donald Trump don't like Bill Gates? Why they didn't work together? Huh? Why Bill Gates want to work with the new administration, but he don't want to work with the Trump administration? That's true. Right. Do you find that um, having studied different disciplines, does that bring you a, um, a greater level of inner peace? Absolutely, Queen. Absolutely. I mean, um, when you start studying these methods, right, especially with the breathing aspect of it, like, you get into a true spiritual conscious state. I'm not talking about like you sit down and meditate and you you like you try and clear your thoughts, you try and think of nothing. I'm talking about actual spiritual methods that allow you to go like to elevate in consciousness. Like this is some cosmic, this is true cosmic knowledge yeah. that all higher selves have downloaded to us. They blessed us with this knowledge, but it's hidden within us. And if you're not going within, you never tap into it. No, you exactly. you read these books and you hear these people on TV saying, oh, you know, peace, inner peace, go within, no mind. But you don't actually know what that means because you haven't gone deep within enough. No. And until you go deep within enough, you, ha you ha don't even have a chance of getting external. That's true. Yeah. As above, so below. Yeah, that's true. That's the deeper you go within, the farther you go without. And, yep, and you, it's not being taught. So you know, it's not being taught at all. There that, that can teach them. Indeed. You're starting with the youth to teach them how to, because if you're young and you know your power when you're young, it just gets greater as you grow older. It, it gets greater and greater and greater. There is no limits except the limits that you place upon your own mind. Ask yourself that. And when you find the answer, you will realize that you on the wrong motherfucking side, my nigga. The only people who don't know that are you dummies, okay? You BET babies, MTV babies, Shade Room babies, stupid ass, uh, loving hip hop babies, loving hip hop children. You the only motherfuckers who don't realize this. That's true. Mm. And that's 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 what that's what I'm really setting out to do. Um, starting this coming uh, this coming year, I'm really gonna start stepping out and teaching on a grander scale because it's time, especially this right now. You know, is president yeah. that we understand who we are. We 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 have to empower ourselves on another level to be able to break away from this system. Because right. this system that's in place, it only has one goal for us, and that's incarceration, whether that's physical or mental or spiritual. That's so you have to be able to step outside of that and be the observer, see what it is, and then have the teachings and the methods that allow you to elevate in God consciousness. That's true, because if you have that, you're not even on this realm to be governed. Not even in the realm. At all. So, you know, people not even in the realm. To be this, who's gonna, it's like... I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I'm not even here. Don't me. I'm not on this earth right now. I'm I'm on a higher plane. Yes, that's that's definitely. Indeed. I started Indeed. out when when I was young. I started out. Uh, my uncle was a marine, and he taught right. he taught me um, uh, taekwondo at first, jujitsu, and then kukondo, and then aikido. So I okay. I started learning disciplines. I wanted to become a ninja. So right. <laughs> I started you learning. Yeah, I wanted to. I, yeah, we did we, when we were little, you know. But I, I wanted to learn the art of the sword. So, um, right. 
but I learned in that in that in that time frame because I was I was about six when I started too, just how to right. channel my different energies. And now I'm trying to teach that to my sons, you know, physically right. first, but then as they can, you know, get the concept of, you know, using their, their minds and stuff. But discipline the body is is very important to start off with because you have to know how to have that self control first. For sure. You know, if you can there first. And then you Absolutely. Can yeah. And, boom, you know, boom. <laughs> um, but I mean, yo, you gotta look at you gotta look at you gotta look at where we came from, yo. Mm -hmm. You look at like 711 AD, right? Mm -hmm. The Moors went from Africa into Spain. Well, they crossed the Iberian Peninsula into Spain mm -hmm. and they conquered it. They conquered Spain and Portugal and Southern France, and they ruled that area for 800 years. Yep. We was warriors, we was kings and queens, and we brought the civilization over to the Europeans. Mm -hmm. So you see that that didn't happen from not having that self-discipline. That didn't happen from not being a warrior people that happened from being warriors. And through being a warrior and stepping onto that path, you get to cultivate and refine yourself to the highest levels. Definitely. Mm. You, you, challenge, you challenge yourself every movement, every day, every thought. Yeah. Then it turns into a non-thought, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you look at the history of it all. It's like, for, in my opinion, for any people on this planet, to achieve their highest state, their highest potential, they have to step onto that path and develop the warrior within themselves. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you miss that and you're trying to like go around and it's like, yo, this is all good and fine. I wanna watch it, I wanna watch the movie, I wanna watch the documentary, or I wanna pick up, I wanna pick up the book, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanna pick it up. And I want to learn that way, but I'm not getting the experience. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's all about the experience. You can't get it from a book. That's true. You have to have the experience. I could talk, I could talk to you all day about these energetic methods. Mm -hmm. And I, I could talk to you and tell you I can do this. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I can even demonstrate it to you and you can feel it and be like, yo, that was real. Like that was reality right there. Like, yo. That's crazy. Yeah. But until you sit down and step on the path and you take the time and you cultivate that knowledge within yourself, it's not real for you. That's true. And then what else, you know, what else is there? Like, like the brother in Fudishi, like he got a dope ass book. Like I, I, I recommend that everybody go pick this up and check it out. It's spiritual mm. warriors are healers. Okay. Mm. By, by Infudishi. Like it, it's 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 a it's a joint, and he, he go into it. He he go into the history, but as he talk about the history, he also building into the warrior aspect of the culture. Mm -hmm. And without that, you're missing the piece that you can't complete. You can't complete yourself without that. Right, right. So I just you know I want to throw that out there to the youth and to the people that's watching. Like there there's more to this than just the book knowledge. Mm -hmm. In order for us to reach our highest, our highest potential as a people, as a as a world civilization, as as human beings, as a planetary nation, yeah. like we have to develop another side of ourselves, and we'll find a unification in that. Definitely, definitely, and even uh, speaking to you know tapping into your warrior side with with you know the rest of the world or uh, Caucasian Americans sees that they turned into anger from us it's not yeah. really anger it's power and it's that that warrior aspect and element of us that many have not tapped into and it, it they fear that Indeed. but we don't know why they fear it but they fear right. it because there's power in it and if we there's learn that there's power in it then we can get a lot accomplished yeah, and, 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 and with that being said, sis, I agree with you 100%, queen. And like, I also say, yo, there's definitely 
issues that's dealing with the color of our skin. But regardless, mm -hmm. if you a human being on planet Earth right now, if you were Earthling, you an African. That's right. That's, that's right. That's but, true. You know, it, it's crazy true. that you mentioned that, right? Because I want to ask you something. You know, the dumbest question is the question that's not asked. All right. right. Now, I did my research, and from my understanding, there is only really one race, which is the human race, because there was a great scientist yeah. by the name of Yaku who grafted from sperm cells and weaker sperm cells and weaker sperm cells and from the um the teachings of the hospital that has to do with that snake over that uh candy cane pole biting yeah. it to where if yeah. your child was dark skin right. your child was hit over the head and told that your child went to heaven to prepare a place for you and if your child was light skin they told the mother Take care of this child very well because this child is going to make you rich in this life, not the hereafter, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. I say that to say this. Back in the days, they called the colored people white. The Caucasians was the colored people. And somehow, the way they changed the map, the globe, they also changed the color spectrum as well and started naming us colored and them being Caucasians. Can you elaborate on that? Am I right or am I off? Yeah. Yeah, you speaking on on the caduceus, mm -hmm. and, and the caduceus is actually a representation of the kundalini. So when you're looking at the spine, and, and and you're talking about yoga, and you're talking about the energy elevating up the spinal cord, right? And, and so it intertwines, and it raises up to the crown, and it activates the third eye, mm -hmm. right? So that's that's kind of like the science of the caduceus, um, dealing with. With, with what you had, had mentioned before that, yo, nobody was talking about the color of anybody's skin up until the Great Inquisition. Right. Mm. When, when in Europe, there you had the Proud Boys, mm -hmm. right? You had the Proud Boys in Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, we lost it. Most of, the, okay. most of them raced. The, the Moors when they came across because they brought civilization. They they brought soap. They taught them hygienic hygienic practices. Right. They built paved roads. They built cathedrals and castles. They taught them, they brought the silks and the fine linens and they gave them high culture and civilization. Uh -huh. And they embraced that. But then you had the people that was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I don't like that. I, I like being a barbarian. I liked our tribal aspect that we had prior to them coming in there forcing this civilization upon us. We don't want it. Right. So around 1492, that when they were at war with the Moors in Granada, they finally defeated them in 1492. And okay. they pushed them out. During the Great Inquisition, that's when they said, all right, you know what? We are tired of these black colored Africans that came across and took what we know, right? They took our way of living and brought something else. Right. So check this out. This is crazy, though. In 1492, what's something that's significant that happened in 1492 that everybody talks about? They say Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Mm -hmm. Right. That's isn't, that, isn't that interesting that the Moors got defeated in Granada in 1492? Mm -hmm. And just a couple months later, mm -hmm. King... King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella financed Christopher Columbus on his voyage to come over here after they defeated the Moors and got their navigation maps. Right, right. Wow. Hmm. So then after that, they started the Great Inquisition and they started pushing all the Africans and the Jews back to Africa and back to the East, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And they said, and the ones that didn't go, they even either had to convert or they killed them. There was a massacre over there. Yeah. But check this out. Now they sail over to this new land, and they find, they got this, this huge land. They don't know what to do with it, because guess what? They didn't build the cathedrals, and mm. they didn't pave the roads. Mm -hmm. and Europe, the Moors did it when they occupied Europe for 800 years. Right. So they said, so how do we build this? Because we can't do it. So they had to go back and get the Africans. 
I don't know whether that was something that was presented in the sense of like, could you help us? Or if it was just straight, you come. Uh, yeah, you coming. Yeah. Wow. yeah. But it's, it, it's an interesting fun fact though. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what's up. And then those that were already here, you know, they tried to, they, they mixed with the Africans that were brought over and which gives this lovely color that we have today. Wow. <laughs> We've been here. We've been, been here. here. Yeah. You, all, all you gotta do is 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 look at the Omex. Uh huh. The Omex, they the the um the Smithsonian Institute. Mm -hmm. They carbon dated those heads back to twelve hundred BCE. Right. Wow. We've been wow. here. Been here. And if you look at the Olmecian heads, mm -hmm. look at them and go back at, to ancient Nubia and look at their headdresses. Yeah. They're exactly the same. Those was Nubians. Those was the Kushites. That's We've right. been here. Yep. We yep. didn't come here in 1492 or after. Been here for thousands of years. Thousands of years ahead, yes. And I don't know, it's just that that history has been erased. So it's great that you're bringing it back to the forefront and we getting ready to put it everywhere. <laughs> it, it, it's, this is just like the things that people need to sit back and look at the actual facts of history. Yeah. Look at the timelines. Like, just because you're not taught that in your history books doesn't mean that the answers and the knowledge is not out there to be found for the person that's seeking the light. That's right. It's out there. And, and if you seek the light, the sun going to shine on you, man. The star going to beam down. It's going to download on you. <laughs> it is. And one plus one is two. So, you know, sure. you can't help. You can't help it. So, yeah, that's true. That's a lot. That's, that's deep. Yeah. Oh, a lot of jewels being yeah, dropped here this Woo Wednesday. Know, right? Yeah, okay. Yo, be born is definitely <laughs> in your building, dropping all the gems on y'all. Yeah. Yo, I, I don't know no other way to be, man. I don't know no other way to be, God. It's just me. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm you getting the you getting the authentic. Mm -hmm. You know, you getting the authentic born. You know what I mean? So, yeah, mm. you, you got any projects out coming out or? Yeah, man, I got I got another project that's gonna be dropping. The the, the date is March fifteenth. Okay. So it's in the works right now. Uh, it, it is it's it's gonna it's gonna be a banger. Oh yeah, drop us some It's gonna be a banger. Uh huh. Okay, wait. Yeah, stay that. stay tuned for that for sure. I think everybody is gonna appreciate that project. Well, uh, who's the producers? Uh, Tony Tone produced the entire project. Wow! Yeah, Tony Tony. Oh, that's gonna be project. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's it's gonna definitely be a banger. I got a I got a couple other joints that's that's in the works too. Uh, building with uh, Dr. G. Mm -hmm. Got a joint that's gonna be dropping with Dr. G soon. And uh, yeah, it, it it's gonna be a few projects dropping in quarter one. Mmm, first quarter lookout. Hey. Yeah. It's going down. That's what's up. Now, what can they expect? Are you giving them some intellectual knowledge, same way you dropping jewels now, um, some street rap? What exactly are you delivering? Just a little bit. I know it's a secret, but just a little bit. No, nah, it's no secret, man. The, the, re the reality is I, I fuse it all in there together, God. Mm -hmm. I fuse well, it all in together. I mean, I... I the streets, the streets is a big part of my life. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I can't take that away and act like that doesn't exist. Facts, facts. Now, where you know did you fall back? Yeah. Yo, I, I kind of bounced around a little bit, but from Cincinnati to Cali. Mm -hmm. I, I spent I spent my teenage years in Cali. Yeah. And uh, I, I I grew up in, in Cincinnati up until that point. And uh to Cali. Yo, I moved to Cali. And, and I ran, I ran in with some cats from Staten Island, uh -huh. and, and they kind of jeweled me. You know what okay, I mean? okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. That's W. What, That's that. What part w. of Cali? North, South, in the middle. What part of Cali? Uh, South, South, like the San Diego, Palm okay. Springs area. Kind of gravitated uh -huh. between the two. You down there with the money. Mm. <laughs> now, 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 being kind of young. And then connecting with those mighty, mighty bees. Yeah. What was the most inspirational uh, memory that you can recall now from when you first met them that still stuck with you? Uh, 
to be honest, it was the 52 blocks. Ah! Yo, yo, these, 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 those cats, those cats <laughs> was nasty, God. And I, I'm watching a 52, and I didn't, they never called it 52. I didn't realize it was 52 until later on in life. But I used to watch, used to watch them fight in the streets. And I was like, yo, wait, what are they doing? Like, this ain't like no martial arts that I've seen before. And it's not just boxing. Yeah, like, it's crazy. I'm watching these cats, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. They going, oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. They, they ain't here. You know what I'm, know. I'm watching them. I'm like, yo, what are they doing? And, you know, I, I'll never forget my my man, my man 40 from Brooklyn. And uh, we were we was in the streets, and he got into it with, with, with a big Mexican dude. And, and, and they they squared up, and, and he started going into his, his, his thing. And the Mexican swung on him, and he did something crazy, grabbed his fist, kissed him, pieced him. And I'm like, yo. So <laughs> the, the, the Staten Island cats with the 52 has never left my memory, God. Oh, that's classic. Sure. That's classic. That's classic. Because you got to be from back in the days to know about that 52. Either that or you had to be in jail on Rackers Island, oh, now I'm blocked to be yeah. Back hey, 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 they they still they up. still waving the flag though. They still waving the flag though. Uh the brother Light Burley going heavy with, with teaching the 52. Mm. He even got an online course where you can go learn almost the entire system. Oh wow, that's, that's crazy. Cool. Yeah. Because yeah. I was raised with the same thing. That was the fighting technique. But and you yeah. know, um, the difference was if you was woo, we used the 52, and if you was yeah. an East Set, the septicons. That was yeah. our fighting stance. Everybody had a different 52. No and doubt. the whole logic was learn the 52 from the water cars because that's the original. That's Rumble, that's right. Mash Struck, that's all of them. So they come yeah. with ill stuff. You got to out compete that and sure. be able to protect yourself. I mean, if you that's boxing, baby. people, you better yeah. know how to get them off your ass because there's no such thing as running. You can't right. run and then come no back doubt. to the block and say, we still cool. That's not going right. to happen. Nah, nah. So no you got to learn how to fight your way out of there. <laughs> Chess boxing. Chess yeah, boxing yeah. at its finest. You already know, man. You already right. know. The bees are swarming. Yeah. He's right. in the building. How can the people contact you? How can they connect with you? Yo, you can connect to, with me on my Facebook page, Royalty Born, Instagram, Royalty Born. Twitter, Royalty Born. Yo, that, that's the easiest way to get in contact with me. And, and I, I love to build. So you want to build with me? Yo, let's build. I'm trying, I'm trying to really, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to uh, the point where we building some unity. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Unity is key. And it starts with us. It start with us, so each one teach one, and together we can build a brand new nation. There's nothing stopping us, right? Absolutely. First of all, we got a label, and it's called the Climax Corporation, right? We got right. over five albums, three singles, no, four singles, right? Okay. Right now, just hit the wow. billboard. So let's say all the plats within the COVID-19 is eight, and we still got three more to go. Right, with okay. hard work, right? Three more to go yeah. for 40 right. years out, yeah. right? And this is November, right. okay? Yeah. So the party just begun. Then if I know you and I know Hands On and I know Dungeon Master and I know Buddha Monk and I know the Zoo Ninjas and I know RZA and I know Power, all of them together with the money, we unstoppable. We was already oh. unstoppable. Now we get a chance to come back to the U.S. and really sell units the way we still do overseas. No question. True yeah. indeed. Because it doesn't matter what kind of MC you are or rapper you are, there's a lot of us with unity. Mm-hmm. So whether yeah. it's rapping, whether you want hardcore, horrorcore, you want slow times, you want ice cream, whatever you want, we got 15 individuals who can beat you at your own chess game. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Actual There's fact. nothing new underneath the sun. We was positioned before and it shall happen again. Indeed. Great minds think alike. A alike, B alike, and C alike. alike. And then you oh, have definitely. all the females 
all the females. <laughs> and, and maybe this time we can get some non titties and ass oh, yeah, selling yeah. units. Yeah, we not. No disrespect, yeah. but we can yeah. bring the culture on that forefront. And we all know FM stations, if they do play a female MC, it's only one or two. We can flood the game and take over. No doubt. Yes, no question, God. Not a, not no a, question. That's with the Climax I, Corporation. I, that's why Climax Corporation, that was what birthed it from the, the group Climax, you know, from the eight from the 80s, you know what I mean? Oh, right. female oh, funk female band. Funk band I got a meeting yeah. in the latest yeah. room. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. That part. I, I, I expect to see you happen. Yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, yo the, the real talk, I mean, even you go back in, in, in history and look at it, yo, Originally, it was a matriarchal system. It's a, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, not 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 to not to give the queens the the power and equality. Mm -hmm. Yo, we we lose we losing something in, in the culture right there. So, yo, it's only right. Yeah. I I can't wait to see it. I love to see oh, yeah. the the queens step up. And, and, and like you said, oh, the titties and ass, yo, it's played out. Yeah. It's time let, for a change. Let, 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 show your intellect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, That's the true to, beauty. You have real earth to grow. That's right. You can't grow on earth. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to have the earth. <laughs> can't you take the earth. Uh, whatever, you know, I ain't going to say it. But you got to have the earth in order to really build to teach the youth. It all starts at home with the mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember, well, I can recall when the females had the crown, you know? Yeah, we still do. Yeah, yeah so, but, but <laughs> a lot of people don't recognize that mm -hmm. or don't want to recognize that. Just like I felt it should have been a female stepping up to the forefront to be the president. But then there's a lot of other individuals who feel they don't want a female to run the country. First of all, I'm not biased and I give respect when respect is due. Absolutely. Females from day one has been taking care of a household with or without a father. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then I know, absolutely. that plays a trick on society's mental because they feel that they played that role so long, you know, they shape and form into that male figure. However, they can only do but so much. A man can teach and a sure. female can teach in two different ways and reach the child. But it takes two parents to mix and mingle to raise that child official. I think in this election, it wouldn't have been right to have a female, to put a female on the front line with what was going on at this mm. time. I think that having that male there so they can testosterone, battle it out the way it needed to play sure. out. I think that needed to happen because it would have been a different fight if uh, it would have been the other way around, like Kamala ran for president, it would have been a different fight. So mm. I think it played out the way it was supposed Indeed. to. Indeed. Yeah. We don't and mind, we don't mind being the wing, the wind be meek. You know what I mean? Just as long <laughs> as you don't forget that there's wind there and you know, because yeah. the wind leaves and you're falling straight to the ground. So you have to, you know what I'm saying? We don't mind that part. Just, Enough respect to yeah. all the females out yeah. there, all the independent entrepreneurs. Yeah, I'm speaking for all the sisters yeah. right now. <laughs> don't that forget us. I will stand up. Like, wait, what? What you mean? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But definitely, we definitely need to build, man, mm -hmm. build a better tomorrow, like the album, and yeah. make things happen. Enough respect to RZA as well for that good human uh, thing by changing that. Yes, that was so a big did, step because a lot of people, a lot of kids, even myself included, mm -hmm. when you hear that ice cream truck sound, you stop everything you're doing and you, you know, run for that ice cream yeah, you know, and sure. not realizing you're running to a slave tomb. Mm -hmm. So that was hot that he pulled that, recognized that. He said good humor contacted him. So enough respect right. to yeah. good humor as well. Yeah. And for him for accepting sure. it and changing it for the future because Wu Tang's forever. And so is that theme music because they're never going to change it again. Yeah. Indeed. So that's Indeed. hot. Yeah, did you hear you heard about I. that with the turkey and the straw and, and Rizzo? You heard about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's real different. Most deaf. That yeah, that's dope. peace. Yeah, yeah. That's peace. So thank you, man. You got anything else you want to tell the people out there? Yo, ju just stay tuned because the swarm's gonna never going to stop. <laughs> it's never going to stop. The swarm continues in the beast of swarm. Yeah. It's the 
Lab Boy Radio Show, yes. So Serious TV, DJ Lab Boy, Ray Jackson, we in the building, <laughs> woo, Wednesday, we you got the God you still. Yeah, Appreciate you. Never <laughs> respect, man. 